Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to another video, I hope all of you are doing well, last night's victory against Ren, we find ourselves top of the group in the Champions League, Group E, 7 points out of 9, we're looking nice, we're looking nice, as I did uh, say in my review yesterday, it wasn't the most fantastic performance, especially in the second half where we dipped, but I think it looks like we might have done that intentionally, in order to conserve some energy, we've got Sheffield United to look forward to, and and then it's the international break. Yeah, I know. We've got another flipping international break. But it's okay. I will make sure the content will be coming lively and flipping amazing on the channel. You guys are going to enjoy what's in store for the international break. Stay tuned now before we get into the context of this video i've got two things to say firstly subscribe if you are new hit the notification bell to be notified once i've uploaded smash the like button it really does help me out a lot so i really do appreciate your support and the second thing that i want to do uh, for those of you that are in the uk or to be honest for those of you that are in europe um possibly the world because other countries are doing the same thing all at the same time now but we have entered a new lockdown and um, I just wanted to take a little portion of this video to tell you guys, please, for those of you that are watching, for those of you that are worried, for those of you that are, you know, fearful, for those of you that are scared, for those of you that are anxious, please, you don't need to be. I know a lot of you are going to find it difficult for these four weeks in the UK, some other countries longer. I believe this won't just be a four week thing. If I'm being completely honest with you, this is something that will prolong. This will probably be uh, re-implemented after Christmas if we do get a little bit of uh, of an open of an open window during Christmas. But I just want to tell you guys, you know, do what you got to do. Um, relax. Don't be fearful. Look after yourself. Stay healthy. Eat healthy. You know, try and live as healthy as healthy of a lifestyle as you can, and that will help you. Um, I hope my videos are a little portion of your day that bring positivity and make you smile and make you forget about the troubles in the world. I really do hope that. But please, if any advice that I want to give you, you don't need to be scared. You don't need to be anxious. You don't need to be fearful. You don't need to, you know, fill your head with, oh my God, oh my God, because that is just not healthy for you. Um, a load of you that are going to you know, struggle if you are, if you're not quite there, there are avenues that you can take, there are people that you can talk to, speak to your loved ones, the best thing to do is to speak and to express yourself and to create dialogue with your family members, with your best friends, say what you feel, and trust me, we will get past this, there will be enough truth to show people that you don't need to be worried, you don't need to be fearful, and I just want to uh, get that out there to you guys as we enter a period of great uncertainty, so so, um, yeah, chill, let's get through this, and um, yeah, let's get into the video. So, today, I wanted to make sure, I try and highlight this point a little bit, because initially, what was being said about Chelsea, to be honest, a little bit of me included, I was a little bit sceptical, I was starting to get a little bit of worry seeping in, but um, we've looked good. I wanted to discuss um, how Chelsea as bad as what some really think. You know, some are saying, oh, you know, Chelsea, they, they look terrible. Lampard's going to get sacked. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, you know, they're playing dreadful football, this, that and the other. But the last five, six, to be honest, seven games, one of them being a little bit dodgy. But the last seven games, we've looked good. And especially in the last five games... We are looking like we are starting to get the balance that we've been talking about for so long. So, I wanted to run over some of the facts and to tell you guys, you know what? I think we are doing much better than what some people think. And we are doing well. We are on track to doing big things. And I'm going to highlight a couple of things here. So, let's firstly go over the fixtures. What was the last seven games and how did we perform? 3rd of October, we beat Crystal Palace 4 Nil. That was a very convincing win, and you, you, we we remember that one. Edouard Mendy's first game, um, and he played fantastic. The, the team looked uh, very, very good that day, but it was a matter of we didn't allow Crystal Pass to do anything. We had complete domination of the whole game, and therefore we won 4-0, and it you know very been very nice day at the office. The fixture after that, 3-3 free, free against Southampton. That is where we all started to go, now you know what, we can't be having this. Um, we were very, very leaky at the back. We realised we had a big defensive problem. Them. Up front, goal scoring, we looked fantastic, but defensively we were all over the place, 
all over the place. And that was the same issue before the Crystal Palace game where we drew 3-3 with West Brom. We let Tottenham back into the game in the Carabao Cup and then we got knocked out. Things like that. Um, but onwards from the 3-3, we realise, you know what, we need a defence to fix it. We have to fix this defence. And we kind of... The game against Sevilla, nil-nil. The game against Man United, nil-nil. Those were very ugly to watch, yeah? That was a very... Uh, those, were, those were two games where I really re wouldn't recommend going back and watching again because nothing happened, right? But in hindsight, in hindsight, and I did say this at the time, I did say, look, we, we can't be playing like this, yeah? I understand why maybe it's been done, but we cannot just defend. And that's it. Problem solved. No, no, no. You need balance. You need balance. And that was the one thing I was asking for. But in hindsight, from how we've performed after those two nil-nils, it looks like what we've learned from those two nil-nils, we are implementing now as well as going out and attacking and scoring. And we seem to found that balance. You know, and that is what we was asking for. Straight after the Man United game, we went to Krasnodar. And for me, this was the turning point. And it does seem like now this was the turning point. Because for the 70 minutes, we were same old, same old. Looking dodgy at the back. Um, going up and yes, creating chances. But being cautious on the fact that we are looking very leaky. We were playing the 4-2-3-1. Frank Lampard switched it up. 4-3-3. Goal started seeping. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> and we took complete control dominance and all of a sudden we looked like a new team a new side just a, a Chelsea reborn so we went over to Burnley and we thought let's stick with this stick with this 4-3-3 stick with this system stick with the way that we're playing and we won 3-0 very convincing performance very convincing performance and then yesterday against Wren we won 3-0 it looked good for the first half. It looked very good. And especially with the penalties. Yes, they were penalties. But we looked good. We were in control. We didn't really allow Wren to do much on the offensive. It was the second half where I said we brought the tempo down. And you could see, you know, we were we were a little bit in chill mode. But we had the win wrapped up. We could afford to do that. And that is what happens when you're playing good football and you're killing teams off early. You allow a bit of breathing space. You expand your options a little bit and this is what we done in the second half we were we, we could afford to just relax sit back a little bit and go you know what we're all right we don't need to go 100 percent here we'll just go at about 70 we're good <laughs> and that is that's good but when you look at these fixtures and you look at the results it's a results-based business you have to look at it 4-0 against crystal palace 3-3 against southampton cool Sevilla, nil nil man united nil nil krasnodar four nil Burnley, 3-0. Wren, 3-0. That's a pretty good record so far. That's pretty good. So in seven games, we've conceded three goals. And in seven games, we've scored 17 goals. That's outrageous. That is honestly really, really good. And if you want a little um, icing on the cake, I will give you this. In the league, yes, we sit seventh at the moment. But when you look at our goals scored and our goals conceded... What does it say? Goal scored. We scored 16 goals. We are joint third in terms of goal scored. First is, weirdly enough, Tottenham Hotspur and Jose Mourinho. I know. Jose Mourinho's team has scored the most goals. That tells you everything you need to know. This has gone mental. <laughs> but defensively, what does it say as well? Chelsea, we've conceded nine goals. Nine goals being joint third. As well, in terms of goals conceded. Arsenal somehow being first for that one, conceding seven. And then Wolves on eight. We are on nine. So it tells you, you know, things are looking all right. Liverpool have conceded 15. And I know the 7-2 didn't quite help them. But they've conceded 15. That tells you everything you need to know about this season. It's looking good. It's looking good, you know. We are performing now on both fronts, attacking and defending. And if you want one stat, just as a cherry on the cake, for the first time in 10 years since Petr Cech in 2010, Chelsea have five consecutive clean sheets. Five for the first time in a decade. And as I said, Petr Cech, another crazy thing, in Petr Cech's first seven games, he had six clean sheets. 
Edouard Mendy's first seven games, he's got six clean sheets. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good, honestly. I just wanted to do this video and bring a little bit of positivity in the direction that, that we are going in. That doesn't mean we've got to come off the gas, though. The crucial thing is consistency. The crucial thing is to ride with the momentum and take it forward now. We need to keep going. But the foundations are in place for us to use this now and try and take ourselves to the next level. And I believe we can do that. When you look at our next fixtures after the international break, obviously we've got Sheffield United. But after that, we've got Newcastle. We've got Rennes, the return, the return fixture in France. We've got Tottenham at home. And then we've got Sevilla in the Champions League. And straight after that, we've got Leeds United and Krasnodar. It's not going to be easy. After that, we've got Everton as well. That's definitely definitely not going to be easy so it, it it is a fixture list that kind of favors us in some fixtures when you look at Newcastle or possibly the Ren game but then we've got to play Tottenham Mourinho at the bridge we've got the Sevilla game again we've got Leeds United they're no mugs believe me they're no mugs I think we can exploit them but they are no mugs they play a very very good style of football and they are very very well drilled they've got fantastic chemistry so you have to be careful the Everton game as I've mentioned we need to ride this let's just ride this and you know as long as we're positive and there's a good feel in the camp and everyone is motivated i believe we have the foundations to go on and do some good things now we have finally found our balance let's not lose it that's the key let's not lose the balance let me know what you think in the comment section below i'd love to hear your opinions on this one do you think we are doing as badly as some have said we're, we're all wrong don't get me wrong we all have a, a good chance of being wrong across this season it's 2020 no one's been right about anything i think it's safe to say that <laughs> So, you know, we are allowed to make mistakes. We are allowed to be wrong. But it's crucial that you see them, you correct them, and you realize that you can learn from them, you know? So let's see what happens this season. But I think, you know, it, we might have turned the corner. We might have turned the corner. So let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button for me. That does help me out a lot, as I said at the beginning of this video. And I will be streaming on Twitch. Make sure you're following me on Twitch and catch the live stream tonight. So straight after uploading this, to be honest, I'll be playing, I'll be playing some FIFA. Let's uh, see if we can replicate what's going on in real life over on FIFA now. We are second in the league, I think or third i don't know but we're close we can win the title come on chelsea <laughs> i'll see all of you there thank you so much for watching have a good one look after yourselves take care and peace